luck here. I, I just want to show you a little bit about how to navigate through Canvas and find things. Um, I'm making this video in April of, of uh, let's see, spring semester, and so there's going to be more showing uh, than you will see at the beginning of the semester. So don't freak. Let me put this on student view uh, so that it looks more like what you're looking at. Okay, notice one thing. When you sign into Canvas, uh, you'll you'll have sh show blah blah blah. <laughs> you're gonna the, the, you're gonna see any online courses you're taking um, show up, uh, and it might just be one if you're just doing the one. So just click on that on your dashboard, and this class will open up, and the home page will look like this. Okay. Um, one thing to notice, uh, you have to sign in to see this, and so that's rule number one. Check your email and check Canvas often. And I don't mean once a week. <laughs> I mean it's a good idea to check it every day just to sign in, make sure you haven't missed anything, make sure you realize what's coming up and what's due. So uh, you'll get a to-do list on the right hand side and you'll get a coming up list of when things are due. So it's pretty handy. Another thing that you want to do uh, in Canvas is go to your account. Uh, you know, I can do this as just a hypothetical student and click on settings or no, actually click on notifications and set uh, your notifications up so that you get automatically emailed if there is an announcement uh, or a change to any of the modules. Okay, so make sure you do at least that. So set your notifications up so that you get emailed automatically if there is an announcement or uh, if there's a change to anything in any one of the modules. This will help you keep track of what's going on if you don't happen to log in. All right, um, the other main thing to know uh, is that Canvas is a sort of a maze, but don't let it confuse you. Uh, uh, lots of things are, are redundant, and that redundancy is built in. So if you click on something and get lost, you can always click home and go back home and reorient yourself. And uh, uh, so bear that in mind if you panic, if you start to panic. All right, the other main thing I want you to keep in mind is always check the modules because that's where the assignments are. <laughs> okay, this is for English 110. So here's module one, what is literature anyway? Uh, module two, MLA documentation, la di da. Module three, the color purple. Module four, Othello with trifles. Uh, and then we move on later in the semester and, and look at poems and short stories about peace and war, and then wrap up the semester with uh, poems and short stories about protest literature. Okay, I'm not going to make all the modules live right at the beginning of class because that looks uh, overwhelming. So modules will go live as we need them. But once they're live, they'll always be live. So you can go back and look at things if you forgot or missed uh, reading something or whatnot. Okay, but at the beginning of each module, you'll see that there are learning outcomes and due dates. Okay, so not only are you reminded on the first page, on, on, the, um, on your dashboard and on the home page of what's coming up and what's due, if you're not sure when something is due, just go to the beginning of a module, click on learning outcomes and due dates. It'll tell you what we're doing and why. And then it'll tell you everything that's due and when in that module. So there's no reason you shouldn't be able to keep track of, of what's going on and how to do it. Uh, also in each module, you can always go back to the beginning, scroll down to whatever module you're working on. Uh, you'll find there are usually example examples to look at, um, things that you need to know to help you write the essays, information later on about uh, various poems and how to interpret them, and short stories and so on. So don't neglect doing your homework, reading uh, the information that's in the modules that I've made available to you. All right, the last great thing to know about um, Canvas is that you can always see what your grades are. 
if you get a little number there that's telling you there's a new grade that's been posted for you and so you can always tell how you're doing in the class I'm under student view so I'm probably just going to see this hypothetical test student who's uh, been very horrible and, and not done anything all semester long <laughs> so anyway uh, but nose around Canvas, especially during this first week when we kind of have a lot of dead time and we're playing, you know, musical sections and people are adding and dropping uh, and you're also working on reading the color purple. So take the time uh, to go through things and get a handle on how they work and don't hesitate to email me with questions or post questions to the first module and... Uh, all right, let's have a good semester, uh, and I hope this helped make you feel a little more comfortable anyway. Uh, it's, it's actually a lot easier than it looks. So, All right, I'm out of here. Have a good one.